Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me absolutely buzzing with excitement because right now I'm in Dreamland, the fantastic garage of Dan Am I, where we've got the three incredibly special Pagani Zondas plus the Centenario and the Senna. But I'm about to take out for a drive the Zonda Cinque Roadster. The Cinque is arguably the most iconic Pagani Zonda. It is certainly a dream car of mine and thanks to Dan Am I, I'm about to experience it out on the roads. I cannot wait. This is going to be epic. My first drive in a Pagani Zonda Cinque and it's this car, the Yellow Roadster. Just take a look at this absolutely unreal lineup of cars in front of me, in particular the rarest of the rare when it comes to the Pagani Zondas. We are literally talking one of only five Pagani Zonda Cinque Coupes. Next to it, the Cinque Roadster, again one of only five. Then to complete the Pagani Zonda Trio, we have the Tricolore, one of only three that they made in total. The collection also includes the Huayra BC, some Koenigseggs, the likes of the Regera, the Agera RS, the Agera Final Edition Thor, and then coming over to the left in matching specifications with the exposed carbon and the blue accents, we have one of only 20 Lamborghini Centenario Coupes and one of 500 McLaren Senna's. Then over towards the other side, an Aston Martin Lagonda Taraf, again one of only 120. But it is these three that we have come to see today. To see these cars sitting here together is not repeated anywhere else in the world. And I can't believe I'm about to drive that one. Let me just introduce them to you a little bit first though. The Zonda Cinque, probably the most iconic format and version of the Zonda that has ever been made. It was originally intended to actually be the final and last version of the Pagani Zonda. It was a commission from the Hong Kong dealership to build five cars, hence the name Cinque, which is literally the Italian word for five. It was going to be coupe only and it featured a number of upgrades. So for example, on the car, you had an extended front splitter, the canards, new side skirts, a new diffuser at the rear, this most iconic piece, I think, with the roof snorkel feeding the engine, the 7.3 litre naturally aspirated V12 that in this car actually makes 678 horsepower and 780 newton metres of torque. But one big difference about the Cinque was that instead of having a manual gearbox, it introduced a six-speed paddle shift automated manual, which I can tell you now makes the most tremendous sounds when you actually shift gear. Now in terms of the design, they all have this distinct livery. Three of the cars were in the launch specification, which had white painted outside areas and a red stripe running up the middle of the exposed carbon fiber. One of the cars was orange, and then this car, number five of five, painted in the bright green. Now, due to the success of the Cinque, they then launched five Cinque Roadsters. The only difference really being the lack of the roof, which can stow away inside the front clam, and of course the change in the design to the snorkel, so that it allows space for the roof to be removed. Out of those, again, three of them in the launch specification, two in different colours, one of them is red, and then this car, number four of five, in the bright yellow. Then next to it, the Tricolore. Originally intended to only actually be the one unit of the Tricolore, presented in the exposed blue carbon fibre with the colours of the Tricolore, the Italian flag, but to pay tribute to the Italian aerobatic team, that was the Frecce Tricolore, I believe it's pronounced. Eventually though, three were made in total. This, I think, pretty much the most unicorn of all of the different cars, but featuring the underpinnings of the Zonda Cinque with the difference of having that fin like the aerobatic team that you can find on the rear of it. So these three cars, to see them side by side is just stunning, but I think what we need to do is get this one started up so that we're ready to take it on out into the daylight. And this is a moment that I can't wait to actually do. This is the Zonda Cinque and I'm about to drive it. We're just going to take a listen then in a second to the startup of this. So when the key gets turned, the car will have to prime itself and then we'll hear it coming into life in all its naturally aspirated V12 glory. Oh yes, that sound is phenomenal. The Zonda Cinque. Now I'm just going to squeeze on through very carefully to head on out so we can see the car get pulled forwards out from the middle of this lineup before we're going to be taking it out. Just look at these. Even with the brake lights on behind, it looks even more exciting. This car, I, I, I don't really know how this is going to go. All I know is that I cannot wait. 
feet to drive it. This is a Bagani Zonda Cinque, a yellow Zonda Cinque, and it's a roadster. We are going to hear all the extra sound out of it. I mean, let's do this. This is it then. We can have a look at the rear of the car. Look at that diffuser. Look at how much more aggressive it is. Look at the exhaust system that you can see through those rear grills. I can smell it as well as hearing it. This, this is going to be something. In a second, I'm going to be jumping in. Look at that Tricolore stripe that comes over the top. Both the Cinque, four of five. So literally, this is four of five. That one is five of five. And that one is three of three. Number three, number four, and number five sitting in a line. All right then. Emerging then into the evening light. We're heading to dinner. This is, I, I, yeah, not many words right now with the excitement I'm feeling to take the wheel of this thing. Bring it on. To make this even more insane, the coupe is coming as well. We are going to have a double Cinque drive. I'm gonna drive the Cinque Roadster following the Cinque Coupe. Two out of 10, this is how we're doing it. And um, yeah, this is, well, Dan's an absolute legend, to be honest. And this is gonna come out before we head on out on the roads. Listen to that sound, right. I need to get out then, back to the roadster, which we just brought out. This is the same. It makes you giggle. The bangs, the roar 
does have particularly wide rear ends, so you definitely have to be aware of where the back of this thing actually is. Of course though, both paddles puts it in neutral. It's such a glorious V12. This engine... <laughs> He's joining in the fun. This engine is a masterpiece. The engine from AMG in the Zondas. Pagani still working with AMG. The Huayra has the 6-litre twin-turbo V12. And now, obviously, the Roadster BC of the Huayra has the next-generation engine. But the Zonda was the first Pagani. The original Zonda, then the Zonda S, then the Zonda F, then the Cinque. There have been so many of the 760 variants since. But they're, they're different. This was released as a 105, as a special edition. The Zonda Cinque Coupe, the Cinque Roadster, and then the Tricolore. They weren't kind of one-off projects. They were models that Pagani released before they became the massive iconic thing that they are now and then you think about the rarity between those different models there are 13 of them and we've just been seeing three of them together pull the paddle into first gear we go again wait until we're straight The way you can hear the cylinders firing and the noises of the engine behind us, I think everybody goes past and they're like, what is that? <laughs> Indicators make a funny noise. destination. I can see a Koenigsegg Travita, a green 812 Superfast, a baby blue Aventador SV. This is an insane lineup that we're joining here with these two. This is absolutely insane right now. So the Lamborghini Huracan just heading out. Then here we have a Koenigsegg Travita. They only actually made two out of the original intended three Koenigsegg Travitas. And if I just turn on my light, just have a look at this. The carbon fiber weave that you can see through the silver paint. That thing is so, 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 so cool. I love that car. CCXR Travita. Then behind it, we've got a 488 GTB. Then behind that, if we just come through, we've got a Novatec Torado Aventador SV. Full carbon kit that you can see on the exterior. The Cinque Coupe. A British racing green Ferrari 812 Superfast. Then we've got a 911 GT3 RS. And then, of course, the Zonda Cinque Roadster. This lineup and evening is a dream. But we are now about to go into what is called Taco Tuesday here at Red Oak, and then I guess there's going to be a drive back home. This evening is going to get even better. This is the moment then where we get to do it all again and we head on out. One Cinque, <laughs> One Cinque out in front. We're driving past the Trevita. This is still absolutely as insane as ever. It's going to be quite dark but that might mean more flame balls. Let's go out and follow the coupe. <laughs> All right then, let's do this. That suspense that builds up and then gets to unleash. <laughs> This is absolutely 
then we're pulling back into the garage. I've got the lift system of the car up. Still have to be very, very careful and watch those incredibly wide hips that this car has. It is much, much wider at the back than it is at the front. And he's gonna be parking. We need to be taking this easy into reverse ever so slightly just to give us some turn into first gear. Yeah, this is where you promptly kill the clutches. So I think we'll do this the expert way for the time being. Neutral. My brain right now isn't focusing. This is a Pagani Zonda Cinque Roadster. I've probably said that far too many times in this video, and if you're playing the Pagani Zonda Cinque Roadster drinking game, I'm sorry. I don't really mind. I've had such a good time that, yeah, I'm just mesmerized staring at this thing, wondering what's actually happened. The cars are back here then, rejoining the Tricolore in the garage, and I have been beaming with the smile all the way across my face the entire drive. Of course, it's been dark, but that's meant we have seen these non-stop fireballs coming out of the back of the two Pagani Zonda Cinques. These things just look incredible, particularly having that roof scoop as well on the open top car. I love the look of that thing. The wing at the rear, it has the little flaps for more downforce. In fact, by the way, this car at its top speed of 355 kilometers per hour, which is about 220 something miles per hour, actually generates 750 kilos of downforce, or at least that's the stat for the coupe, which is really quite substantial, thanks in part to this very aggressive diffuser that you have around the rear, the iconic Pagani tailpipes, the four uh, laid out inside the circle, and then back there, the exhaust system that you can see through the grills. This car is just an epic, epic thing. The Tricolore stripe running through the Cinque Roadster four or five plaque there at the back. There's also one of those on the interior, which in itself is also a fantastic place. The artwork of it, the materials, the look. Yes, some things are starting to look a little bit older. You can see the plaque there, by the way, over on the passenger side, but it's still such a wonderful thing. The small Alcantara steering wheel, shift paddles mounted to the column, just everything about this. Wow, wow, and a bit more wow. My mind is blown by these cars. Of course, we've taken those two out, but also here, the Zonda Tricolore. And this, the blue carbon with some of the black exposed carbon as well, and the gold wheels. The spec of it is fantastic. Look at that, through to the engine bay, through the deck lid there. Stunning, 7.3 liter AMG V12. These cars are incredible, and tonight, has been exceptionally memorable as well. I don't think this moment is ever going to leave my memory. So it is a huge thanks again to Dan and I that this has been possible to experience these cars, to be able to share them with you as well. So do go, I'll pop his link in the description down below and follow over on Instagram to see some more of these cars and plenty more in the future. For now though, you leave me smiling. This has been incredible. A moment to cherish, a moment to remember, but that is it for now. Thank you very much, as always, for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Cheers.